Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining today. Let's play some Empire Total War as Persia in our Persia campaign. Last we left off, we defeated two successive Maratha armies over there in Persia, and now we're attacking Georgia, which uh, will hopefully be one quick, decisive battle. Um, they have a general. He's pretty decent. They have a lot of line infantry, which is kind of terrifying, especially if they have fire by rank, but I don't know if they do. And the reason why I say they don't have fire by rank is they lost to the Marathas, and the Marathas don't have fire by rank, so we'll see how that goes. They also do not have any artillery whatsoever. So we pretty much use our artillery to kill their cavalry and their general, and then we just hold the line with the line infantry, and we're fine. So let's see how this goes. I'm, I'm pretty juiced for this battle. This is going to be our first sort of, I, I don't know. I mean, this is the first pitch battle, I guess. You know, we have a European-style army now, and they have European forces, so... This is going to be kind of the test of our troops or not. Um, I have to admit, I'm not too excited about the line infantry engagements. I am happy, though, about our artillery. We've been doing very well with our artillery. Hmm. Not the best deployment, I'll admit. Um, he's, we're, I mean, we're defending, so we, we kind of have some room to maneuver here. And like I said, he has no artillery anyway. So here's what I'm thinking is we put our troops kind of on this hill here, and we just kind of make a sort of envelopment here, you know. Um, we want to spread these guys out quite a bit if we can get it. Let's see what I got left. I got, I think, two Kizilbashi. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I'll do some Shaternal Camel Gunners. And we fought, I think we fought on this map before, and then I'll do a Camel Nomad. Well, okay, I'll do, I'll do, how about this? I'll do one here. Um, I'll keep one in reserve, I think. Ooh, I got a line here. Uh, oh, that's right, we have Philahine. Okay, I kind of forgot, we actually had Philahine. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep one Philahine unit, I think, over here, and one Philahine unit on the left. Um, I'll keep the Camel Nomads and the, and the Camel Gunners back. Uh, oh, we also have another unit of Kizilbashi, actually. Okay, so I will do this then. I think I'll do... Something like that. I may keep these guys in the trees. See what's up with them. Just to, just in case they do decide to come after this flank. I'm going to do these guys command group one. These guys as two. These guys as four. These guys as three. Camel nomads I'll keep in the back. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. You see this thing? It's kind of weird. I don't know. It's weird. And then the general is going to stay in the back behind the uh, artillery. I mean, that is pretty decent, dude. That's pretty decent. Um, the Felheen are going to... are gonna Anything they get into melee with, we're gonna, they're going to do really well. So we just... Um, we just want to be cautious about where we use them. You know? So let's see what they got. Damn, this is some serious fortifications here. You know, honestly, I, I should, you know, the reason why I don't use fortifications, they're pretty expensive. I don't really use them because they're really, really expensive. But honestly, if we had fortifications, we probably could do a lot more defensive battles. You know, as far as fighting stuff in forts. Okay, so they have militia over here and regiment of horse. So they put most of their troops inside the fort or over here. So they're going to probably line it up. Yeah, okay. So we just, we have nothing to do but to wait for them. Yeah, they're going to move all the troops out. They're probably just going to form up a line. They'll charge at me. Um, what's interesting then is over here, what I kind of want to do. I wonder if I could take a couple of pot shots at their, their horse. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put these guys here. I'll keep this guy, but I don't know if we're gonna have too much room to use him. To be honest. Um Yeah, can you like spread out just a bit more? Thanks, man. 
In fact, I may spread you guys out a little bit more as well. Um, advance just a bit further. I don't know if we're going to need too much of the Fellaheen over here then. Because um, what I was debating was if they have militia here, we just kind of charge the militia, or we charge the militia with the Fellaheen and then just let them do their thing. Uh, really? These guys don't even have bayonets? Well, what about their line infantry then? Yeah, their line infantry don't have bayonets, so they must have not researched that much for the military stuff. Hmm. And if anything, you know what I'm debating actually is redeploying our artillery to face this direction. Let's try that. A little more to slant, kind of like that. I mean, a little, you know, a little further back, maybe. Slightly. Something like that, yeah. Because we're not going to do too much over here, then. I mean, hell, the, the, you know, a couple volleys from the, the Camel Gunners are, is going to pretty much do this. It's going to take care of this, so... Yeah, let's do that. These guys are in an elevated position. There should be really nothing blocking their fire. They're not in a ditch or anything, so... Now we wait. Uh, what are they doing here? More militia. They probably have three militia regiments here. They actually do, you know, they actually have quite a bit over here. Regiment of Horse, Rinso Cav. I'm going to move this guy. I'm going to redeploy him, redeploy him to the left. Because the way that I see it is because we're at the edge of the map here where there, there's not going to be anything happening cavalry wise over here. So I'm going to redeploy everything over there. the hell is this guy up to? He's got a lot of line infantry, dude. Well, shit, if he doesn't have bayonets, then uh, he definitely doesn't have fire by rank. We're gonna walk all over this guy. The question is, where's his general? His general's right there, yeah. Uh, we gotta focus fire on the, on, the, on the cavalry for the most part. He's got a lot of horses over here, though, dude. He's got three regiments. Militia, militia, militia. I'm not too worried about any of them. And we're lucky that the Camel Nomads scare horses. They have nine morale because of my general. They're usually not that great, but once they get some experience and you have a good general, the Camel Nomads actually do very, very well. Yeah, I'll walk you guys. That's fine for now. What I want is to bombard that some bitch. Let's see, can I take some pot shots? Because if a fire here, I do wonder if they'll reach. Yeah! See, that's what I'm talking about right there. See, they, they, they sometimes... They overshoot. You know. Uh, looks like we didn't get any kills, though. These guys actually probably would also make a very easy target right now. Let's see, these guys, um, 47 accuracy. I'm actually kind of surprised they're not doing more damage. I almost feel like we're hitting them, you know? It's kind of weird. Okay, these guys are, these guys are coming. I kind of want to attack them early. I don't know. Hmm. Um, and if anything, I may redeploy these Fellaheen, to be honest. Nice, that went pretty good. Seriously, man, I kind of want to do something against them. Um, the question is, is, is um, well, I mean, you know, they have... Uh, I don't know, that's kind of risky. Am I really concerned that much about these, these cavalry? No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. If anything, I may even... Um, I mean, there's kind of a, a, a hilled position right here. I think I might take that for myself. So that we're fighting, they're fighting downhill. I 
I think uh, I think we'll get actually move these guys out here, and we'll keep the cav. Let me get this fellow here maybe a little further. Damn! Oh, dude, that's sick. See, this is the power of artillery right here. We pretty much just wrecked three horse units for like no penalty, like at all. We didn't break anybody. All right, what's going on over here? We're a little wide here. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want these fellaheen actually. I think I want everybody over here. We're about to engage with these dudes. What I think I may want to do is to charge these guys with the fellaheen. Not sure yet though. Any other... Let me try fire on these guys. I don't know. I'm not sure how the line infantry engagement is going to go down. That's the thing. That's kind of the scariest part about all of this. This should go pretty well. Oh, shit, man. Okay. You no, know, they're kind of bunched up there, so I'll just attack them there. Um, what's up, these horse? Possibly I could actually have him attack there. Holy shit. Oh shit, the totters. Nah, yeah, you know what? I'll send I'll send the fellaheen over here. Um, these guys should be fine. Nah, nah, eh, I'll keep him back. I'll keep him back. Camel nomads have engaged regiment to horse. We should win that. I'm gonna have you guys back up a bit. Um I'll back you guys up. Yeah, I'm going to have the Fellaheen do their thing there. Okay, we're engaging all across the line. Shit, you guys killed that damn general. Oh, no, there is there's some bitch. It has begun. <laughs> Bring it on, bitches. Let's see what you can do. Let's see what your training can do. I got warrior slaves, man. These Kizilbashi, dude. They've been fighting for me for a long time. They've been fighting for the Persafavids for a very, very long time. Okay, we're about to engage. They're charging me. Yeah, we're taking we're taking some losses here, unfortunately. Mm. In fact, I will charge. I will charge that dude. Um, how are you guys doing? Yeah, I kind of want to. I kind of want to maybe. I maybe have to shore up the line a little bit with some troops. Let's see. It looks like the Kizilbashi are mostly holding in melee combat. Um. Oh shit, we shattered here though. Fuck. These are holding a little longer than I'd prefer them to. Now you bastards. Okay, we've broken a lot of the line. We have a little bit of a hole here. I'm trying to see if I can get this fellaheen to sort of patch it a bit. Um, these men hopefully will break. It's because of boss you're holding. Okay, yeah. See, this is why Fellaheen are so good. They can just charge 
they can just charge line of entry and you just do so well. They really do insanely well. It's kind of scary. And then these guys are out because of the damn horses. Or the camels. They're just terrified of camels, you know? These Felahine are so good. They just demolish everything, seriously. Yeah, I'll redeploy you. These Felahine might be a little too under strength now. Yeah, I'm running out of men. Are you guys still firing? Firemen! Oh, well, well, oh shit, they broke anyway. Alright, I'm pulling the Felahin back. Uh, let me get the Camel Nomads in this forest over here. Let's see what's going on. We've broken pretty much almost everything. Where the hell is that damn general? Not died yet, dude. Jesus. Uh, this ain't over yet, though. Hmm. Pull back, you bastards. Pull back. Yeah, these men are pretty tired. Oh, what the hell happened here? Oh, we got charged with someone. Where's their general? I think I get to. Oh, was that the general? No, no, it wasn't. Never mind. It's kind of confused. Okay. That's really all they got. Um, I'll charge them. They don't have any... Um, they do not have any bayonets, so I'm not really that concerned about charging militia. Sometimes, you know, normally I would be. Because they usually have bayonet bayonets, so you can't just, you know, send your troops in there. Let's see, those are our um, captains. Let's push up a little bit. I think I'm okay with leaving these guys here. Um, I'm trying to kind of preserve my strength a little bit. I don't want to, you know. Yeah, you guys are doing pretty good. Um, I'm letting you guys do your thing. Shit. Okay, so yeah, so those men are going to break. I think we're fine with that. Run, men! Can I get a volley on this guy? I kind of want their general to die. Ah, shit. I kind of need him to die. I don't know if we're going to get a volley. I don't think so. Shit! Alright. That went pretty good. Okay, so we killed... Yeah, we killed 2,000 men. They deployed 300... Almost 400 more than I did. We lost 754. Um, the Kizabashi did really good. The Felahin do really well. Especially against line infantry. They, they really do very, very well in melee combat. So, so now that we've defeated the Georgians, I, I know you guys are probably thinking, just take it already. I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I can make him a protectorate again. Because what I don't want to do is have to deal with the public order problem here. Okay, so yeah, so we're good there. So we made we made Georgia protectorate. Um, we're fine there. What I want to do now is get these troops moving to the east. Um, do I need reinforcements here? Also, can I afford to decrease this? We make 5560 a turn now. Yeah, we actually make pretty good money now. What the hell happened? Do we get some stuff that's unblockaded now? Son of a bitch. They're sending in even more troops, dude. Wow, yeah, they're just they're <laughs> Fuck, all right. Oh, I'm lucky I was recruiting some troops here. Okay, well, this is an interesting question. Do I reinforce the south? Or do I just trust these guys can heal and just, you know, I don't know. 
Not really sure. Okay, so we've got Kizobashi. So, damn, dude, it costs 7,500 to heal those troops. This costs 4,216. You know what I may do? I may swap these armies. I think I'm going to heal these guys. In two turns, they get here anyway, and we send these troops that way and heal. Because this army will be full strength. Now, here's a question is, do we attack these forces? Honestly, there's a part of me that actually thinks we do. Okay, let's check. Let's actually check our ministers. I wanted to check ministers a while back. Um, I guess actually, no, he's actually not that great. Let's see, agrarian. Harsh reputation, industrial revolutionary, industrial revolutionary star holder. Ooh, that's an excellent minister. Shit, that's pretty good. Okay. Um... Yeah, so we're definitely replenishing this force all the way through because also, here's the thing is this guy's my better general, but he is 70 years old, so he's probably going to die pretty soon. So this guy's going to need to, he's only 32, so he's going to need to start up and coming a little bit. Um, do I have anything exempted? I do not. We do have a lot of stuff to construct. Like a lot. Anything we need here? We're actually fine here. Craft workshops. But yeah, because we have a lot of open sort of, you know, building slots. Um, doing anything here in Mesopotamia? We should expect attack from the Russians at some kind, unless he's willing to make a peace. Yeah, he still wants me. He still wants me to give him a um, some territory. Should I give you tech if you want it? Tell you what, uh, why don't we do this? Why don't, why don't I give you carbines and we get a piece? I'm willing to do that. No, see, he still wants territory because he, he needs he needs territory. Bastard, what about France? Man, they, they all want territory. I still don't I still don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. Shit, I'll give you France, I will give you those texts, dude. Seriously. I will, I will give you the text if you want them. Just, just give me something here, dude. No, nah, he wants land. Seriously, all they want is land. That's kind of weird. Um, this is an interesting question. Can we get a trade agreement with the Marathas? What the hell is it with these guys in land? God, man. Okay. Um, when did this cannon foundry get damaged? I have no idea. We can get rid of the, some of the garrisons. We're fine now. So far, I mean, we've really turned this around. We were in a pretty questionable position not too long ago. Yeah, dude, we have a lot of building slots that we need to kind of... We need to develop these. I, I like having money. It's just we have to... We have to do what we can with, with these. I mean, these these make us a lot of money. You know, these aren't insignificant to, to even get three of these. Which we can. It just, it's, it's worth it. As long as we can replenish the armies. I think I'm okay with that. It just, we, we need this stuff. Let me see if Dagestan will give me. Oh no, we already are allied to him. Okay. Is it worth the Marathas as well? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So do we attack this force? I gotta admit, I don't want to. Um, we've taken a lot of losses here, but I think I have to. This is this is really just cavalry. I mean, we should be fine. They don't they don't have really any inventory to speak of. They may withdraw. That's almost an auto resolve too, which is funny. Ah. You know, I'm gonna resolve it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, of course he's gonna withdraw. Okay. Let's go back up there. So so this is a question is We have all the uh oh no, actually we lost a Shaternal Camel Gunner. 
I think I'm also willing to get rid of this helmet, unfortunately. Um, so now, this is a question, is do we actually maybe cancel this and just get some more troops again? Because I could get a camel gunner or a horseman who take the place of a camel nomad. Um, if I was to prefer between a camel gunner and a kizzlebosh, I'd probably prefer... I'd probably go with the... Well, yeah, let's go with the Kizzlebosh. Okay, we'll send that guy back up north. These guys take this place in two turns, and then this army will probably send up this way, maybe go to Kabul. We don't have any immediate need for troops over here. I think we're pretty secure, which is kind of incredible. Um, We've been through a lot recently. Okay. Yeah, let's end the turn there. Let's see what happens. These Marathas, man, they've been pretty tenacious. They have. I'll give I'll give them that much. They don't really send that, that many good stacks against me. Now, though, what's going to happen is because we've been really beating back their troops a lot. Um. Oh, that's why. They left the port. That makes more sense. Okay. Okay, let's go and do that. So they left this port. Do we repair this? I think we do, because that's going to give me even more trade income, actually, which is funny. No, I'm not giving you land, dude. Um, Savoy. Come on, dog. No, they don't want you to tag. Shit, I'll give you a thousand bucks for some trade. Yeah, they don't want to trade. Okay, so we heal that. Okay, one of our ministers has passed away. Let's take a look here. I don't know who. Because these guys are all actually... They're, they're kind of all pretty equal. I don't know. It's kind of weird. <laughs> That's revolutionary, harsh reputation. Okay. Um, Kizzlebosh. Okay, so this army. This is some cavalry. Do we attack them? We probably could. Unless he runs away. I'm gonna take that 30%, yeah. Ow, did not work, but that's all right. Okay, we keep you moving. You come down here and one more turn, this army's good to go. And so this army will be able to advance east, and then we can have this guy kind of rest for a second, replenish him. I think I need one more Kizzlebosh and one more Shaternal Camel Gunner here. And after that, that force is full strength. Um, I'm going to wait on replenishing them until I at least get this army down here. So that gives me just a little bit of breathing room for some construction. Because as long as I have these units recruiting, we have this army ready to go and I just need to replenish them. And even then, it only takes two turns. You know, so we kind of have some... We've got some breathing room here. This army will get back here. We can reinforce that. We can send this guy up north. They've only been sending troops from the south. Because I, I think it just doesn't make sense for them to send troops this way. You know? Damn, dude. They've developed this place a lot. There's a lot of growth here. Wow, they've really developed, like, everything. Shit, I'll take it. That means this place is worth some money. They've developed this place too. Look at that. They have peasant farms, this building, and this building. They've done all that in the time that they've owned these provinces. Now, this is what's not good as a military governor's encampment. So we need to advance on the south soon. Uh, I've been going down this line. I actually don't think that probably was a good idea. I'm going to go this. Looks like bayonet. Um, I'll go for cadence marching, actually. Yeah. Okay, so now we have a little bit of money to invest in some structures. We can get, um, I think three, we could get like three building slots. Baghdad. Do we need anything else here? How much money are we making right now? It's not too bad. Um, I think for now I do need the tax. Once we make like five or six thousand, I think it could probably lower it again. Growth is not really my priority right now. Hmm. Do I got any place that's like, yeah, this is, I mean, honestly, as far as places susceptible to attack, this is probably the least. This may be the most, because you can be invaded here. This is also pretty close to the front. 
So I'm going to go with that. So I think we have one more empty building slot, which is right here in Mesopotamia. And after that, I think that's fine. We just need to start upgrading stuff because we haven't had any money to do that. So I will attack this. It's really just cavalry. I think we could probably take it on with the artillery. It's not going to be too big of a deal. And then this guy has not moved because this army really isn't fit for combat. It's also wounded, so I don't actually know what's there. So yeah, the Marathas, they're still not willing to make peace. I'd actually be willing to make peace with them if they, yeah. Well, they do want, they, they do want a region, which I'm not giving them, so. Yeah, whatever. And then George is chilling. I'm glad we don't have to deal with the whole public order problem there. Honestly, I don't mind having George as a protectorate. He's not going to attack me. Uh, protectorates almost never attack the player in this game which is different i know it's different than every other total war game but that is to my understanding that's just how it is they just don't they just don't do it you know that's funny eastern scholars they have a steady hand so plus one to dueling when dueling with pistols but they can't duel that's the difference between gentlemen and eastern scholars they can't duel <laughs> that's curious um, when we get this military academy, we can start getting, um, some native lancers, which are pretty good. They're pretty good troops. The army viseret gets us, um, what the hell? Hindu musketeers. Really? Really? I don't believe you. Hindu musketeers. Islamic swordsmen. That makes sense. War elephants sort of makes sense. Yeah, dude, we get access to Kizilbashi Cavalry. These guys are pimp. They're super expensive. But 10 melee attack, 14 charge bonus. They're horses, obviously. They have good stamina, and they have a weapon. These guys are fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, and then the Kizilbashi Musketeers. Unfortunately, we'll never have access to probably better line of entry than that. I don't think so. Yeah, and then I want a hotties. A hotties are pretty awesome. They're pretty much cataphracts. A hotties, and then I think you can also get spahis. Yeah. Kurdish Hillman. Can we grab... Yeah, honestly, these Hindu musketeers are in every way inferior to Kizabashi. Kizabashi are beast. So, let's go and attack this. That's such bullshit. Look at that. Look at that bounce of power. Bullshit. Bullshit. I could totally take this on. My artillery could deal with this, you know? So we'll fight this in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching as always, guys. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks so much.